Hey guys, so I was on Facebook earlier and I saw uh, CG Geeks got himself a couple of 4090s and he's been testing it out with the barbershop benchmark scene in Blender. So he got 34 seconds on a single 4090 versus the 3090 which was 59 seconds. So it's almost doubling speed. And what I thought would be interesting would be if I can beat that time with the GTX 1070 using the turbo render feature of the Turbo Tools add-on which you can get from 3d-illusions.co.uk Alright, so we've downloaded the scene Let's make sure turbo render is turned off We'll check it, set it, set it to GPU compute and we'll leave all the sample settings as default So let's go to the image editor F12 to render Alright, so the full quality render then it took 9 minutes and 19 seconds on my GTX 1070 so as you might expect, that is a lot longer than the 4090, of course. So let me save this, and we'll call this full quality 800 sample. And I also want to denoise it as well, because if we look at this, it's very noisy. And when I use Turbo Render, it's going to be very clean. So just to make it a fair competition, we're going to denoise this one as well. So I'm going to go to slot 2, and I'll call this... 800 samples denoised. So go to the compositor and in here, because I'm using the Turbo Tools add on, it's going to give me this as a replacement for this. But it doesn't make any difference at all to the render time. And I'll quickly add a denoise node. So I'm going to cache this with the Turbo Compositor tools. So we'll set it to 100% size and I'll just cache it. It just means it won't have to keep recalculating. And if we plug this one in, I will go into the image editor with the denoise version. So, slot 1, still noisy. Slot 2 has been denoised with the open image denoiser. And this is what we're going to try and beat, the quality of this. Alright, so slot 3, this one's going to be turbo render. Uh, we'll go for the lowest quality initially, so we'll go draft stroke crap. And we can get rid of these now, we don't need these anymore. Right, now, turbo render, we'll turn it on. We're going to leave it as the denoise mode draft rapid and sample preset crap. It's an interior scene, so I'm going to turn on the interior option. This will make it render a bit, little bit longer, uh, but it will give us a better result. And I'm going to turn off prevent fireflies and also turn off optimize HDRI because the scene doesn't use a HDRI. The scene, I know for a fact, has got transmission because it's got glass, it's got emission because it's got light, and on the sofa at the back, it's got a subsurface scattering, so I'll turn that on. So let's do F12 again. And that's finished in 28.95 seconds. So the GTX 1070, five seconds faster than the 4090. But before we get too excited, let's check the quality. So this with turbo render. Let's look at the quality regarding the textures on this marble. So I'll change it to the 800 samples. And you'll notice straight away that the 4090 version that we've got here, or the equivalent of what would have been the 4090 version after it was denoised, has lost all the texture detail on the marble. And then this is the turbo render version, which is faster than the 4090. And we've still got all this texture. Now, don't start shouting in the comments just yet. I am aware that the 3090 version is obviously much stronger in other areas, but we'll come to that shortly. So let's have a look at some other areas. For example, the cobwebs over here. So we can see we've got all the detail in the cobwebs with the turbo render, but if we switch to the full quality version, you'll notice that all those details in the cobwebs have disappeared, which is pretty insane when you consider that turbo render was using 50 times less samples. It was only using 16. Uh, some other areas perhaps, let's have a look at the floor, maybe over here. So. We've got the wooden grain on the door and the cabinet and the flooring as well. If we turn on turbo render, look how much more clearly we can see the textures on the grain. We've not lost any detail whatsoever. And if we take a look at the floorboards, the actual geometry on the floorboards, if we go back to 800, you can see it's quite, we've lost the detail between the planks, changed back to turbo, and that's much more defined now. Um, the sofa, this chair here, is particularly difficult because it's an extremely fine grain texture. So this is the 4090 version. It's lost all that detail, very smoothed out. And then turbo render on a 1070, 
we've retained all that texture detail and we've also retained all this rust detail which has been lost with the 4090 version after it's been denoised but you will notice that streak of light has actually been messed up with turbo render so we need to come to that in a second on the glass we come in and look at the reflection turbo render i would say the 4090 version has definitely beat that there and you'll notice here as well we've got a bit of a strange i think that's a strange result unless that's how it's supposed to look but i would say the 4090 is definitely won on the reflections so I can't really say that in all aspects of the render, the 1070 has beat the 4090 in five seconds less, because if you look closely, like this area here, we've lost this harsh shadow, and we've also, on this pan, lost the reflections there as well. So not completely, but on this side here, we've lost the reflections. So basically, we're doing better with textures and some of the geometry, but we're not doing as well with the glossiness and with the sharpness of the shadows. So we need to fix that. So let's do another render. We'll call this one Turbo Render Draft Medium. So medium samples, let's drag it across. And we'll choose medium for the sample setting and see how this fares. So on medium, let's have a look now. You can see we are retaining that sharp shadow. We've also got this reflection back as well. And if we look at the other areas where we saw issues before, we can see all the reflections now are much sharper. We've also got no distortion of the objects under the glass, and the distortion has gone as well on those streaks of light that are going into the drawers. So quite a big difference in actual fact. Uh, and it's just basically perfect. And the cobwebs as well, again, much better in both the 28 second version and the, the 1 minute 15 version. And if we change from draft to high denoise mode, we'll get even better shadows and reflections. And it should only cost maybe one or two seconds extra in render time. So we'll name this to high medium, 12. And there we are. So if you look at the difference in quality, this one finished in 116. So one second slower than previously. And this is the result previously. A little bit not quite as sharp on that shadow there. So it does add quite a, a bit of a nice difference with geometry, shadow, and with glossiness as well. If we come over here, uh, we should be able to see a difference. You can definitely see it in the reflections very slightly, but if we come across to this slither of light that's going inside the tray, it's much more defined when we do it on the high setting than the draft. So this is draft and now that's high. You can see there's quite a, uh, Substantial improvement, especially considering it was only one second difference. If you're wondering why it's now one minute 12, that's because this showing you this was an afterthought after the video. So I've re rendered this one and this one as well. And if, of course, if I want to get all pristine results, I would probably change it to high on the sample presets. And let's see how long this takes. There we go. So two minutes and two seconds on the high preset. And if we zoom in and compare these now, let me just name this one. So this is high, high. We'll compare this with the uh, 800 samples. I'd say that's pretty much pristine. Zoom in, look at some geometry. Apart from the additional detail, obviously, with the textures that we've got, I'd say they're pretty much they're pretty much identical. Yeah. Probably overkill. I think it was it, it was probably fine on medium, but uh, there you go. If you wanted to put it to high, it would be four times faster, uh, four times slower. Well, less than, probably three and a half times slower than a 4090, which is pretty good for a 1070, I think you'd agree. Uh, and obviously, compared to its original speed, which was nine minutes, we can get it nine times faster for a, what I would consider a, a good enough result for the client. Obviously, high is a little bit better. And obviously, because this scene rendered in nine minutes, which is pretty fast anyway, we couldn't get much of a saving on render time. But if you've got a scene that renders, that takes hours and hours, you know, 10 hours upwards, you can usually expect those to be reduced to around about 10 minutes or less with Turbo Render. So I think the takeaway could be the 1070, when assisted with Turbo Render, can produce a better quality render in some aspects, 
than a 4090 can, even when rendering for five seconds less. But in order for the 1070 to match clo more closely all areas of a render, it needs to render between two and four times longer. Although obviously that is only in this scene. If the scene had been a lot more complex and it was taking the, even the 4090 a couple, maybe two to three hours to render a still frame, then the turbo render with a 1070 would likely have actually beat the 4090 because the longer the render usually takes, the more time turbo render will save. As I said before, it generally takes a 10 hour still frame render down to around about 10 minutes. Whereas if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that even if we'd have pushed the, the 4090 to render a massively higher amount of samples than it did, taking it even up to 10 minutes render time, it still wouldn't have been able to produce a good enough quality image for the inbuilt denoisers to be able to preserve those high frequency textures in the same way that Turbo Render was able to do. As we saw in this video, it was 50 times as many samples and it still couldn't get anywhere close to the result we got with Turbo Render regarding the textures. And of course, maintaining all that extra detail can be the difference between an obviously CG looking render and something really realistic. Personally, I think I'd rather have the uh, much faster, I'd rather it render for 1 minute 15 on a GTX 1070 uh, than spend $1,500 on a 4090 to still need to render longer than the 1070 that's been assisted by a $24 add-on. So for that reason, I'm going to stand by the title of the video and say, I do believe that the 1070 did obliterate the 4090 on this occasion. Now, of course, if the 4090 had have had the turbo render, it would have been a completely different story. So I thought I'd share that. I uh, hope you enjoy it. And I've got a few more videos coming shortly. So keep your eyes open for those. They're not going to be turbo render related. They're actually going to be, well, I'll let you wait and see. They're going to be, one of them's quite disgusting. <laughs> and one of them is a really, it's a four hour tutorial, which covers animation, modeling, sculpting, rigging, compositing, and rendering. Quite a lot. So keep your eyes open for those. And I'll catch you in the next one.